150 years of military handguns. Right up to the year 2010. Nice, aren't they all? Did a little trading this afternoon and uh, came home with a Beretta 92 FS. Had one of these back in, uh, I must have traded it off around 1989, I guess. Uh, I think it must have been the 92F. And I've always kind of missed it, although I, I don't like, I didn't like it as much as a Glock, still don't. But, uh, Kind of missed it since it's been a military uh, sidearm for so long. So I did a little trading and uh, worked myself into another one here. Just felt a little bit, you know, with all the firearms I have and that I shoot, just couldn't help feeling a little unpatriotic not having it, you know? So anyway, and I like it. It feels great in the hand. I mean, my big hand, it just fits like a glove. I remembered that so well about it. Uh, neat old gun it's so different from uh, almost anything else uh, the things i don't like about it are the the trigger to some extent it, it comes way back so far it's not really comfortable to me the double action and everything but all in all it's a pretty nice gun i'm not going to give you a full review of it right now that sort of thing i just got it took a few shots uh when i got home and just to make sure <laughs> i could hit something with it and uh it, it feels pretty good so i'm gonna i'm just gonna shoot it a little bit have a little fun with it maybe here uh, just kind of an introductory uh, video with it uh, you notice what we had out here we just brought a few props out the old uh, 1860 cap and ball uh, 1873 cold single action uh, you know kind of the progression of military sidearms this is a, a, new, a new service revolver made in I think 1907 I believe is a specific date on that particular gun so towards the end of the century you know we started having guns like that and and our military service people were carrying revolvers, uh, 38s, and this is a 45 Colt. And then, of course, the famous 1911. Uh, and, uh, you know, in 1986, I believe was the year, we switched to this gun in 9mm. Anyway, let's just take a few shots. Uh, had a lot of requests to do uh, videos with these. I've just never had one, and I've uh, been shopping around for one for quite a while, looking for a good used one. Uh, haven't had a lot of luck, so I just made a little trade today, and uh, I'm back in the Beretta business, and uh, for at least for temporarily, kind of fun. So let me put a, oops, a couple of bullets in here. This magazine I just shot. I'm going to, now I don't know if I can hit anything at long range with it. Uh, it has a different kind of trigger, a different kind of feel for me. Uh, even though the, the grip feels really good in my hand, uh, Again, once you start pulling the trigger, a little bit of that goes away, uh, which is, is something I think happens to a lot of people in gun shops. They buy guns that when they pick them up, oh, that feels great. Doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna feel really great to shoot uh, when you're actually pulling the trigger and you're getting recoil, uh, or if it's a double to single action, as this gun is from first to second shot. If you start out you know, in uh, a double action mode, you get a little bit of uh, inconsistency there of course on the first two shots you know so that's that's one of the negatives that uh, led me to, to trade my 92 F off at, at one point that it's just awfully darn big for a nine millimeter uh, if I would laid my Glock 26 beside that gun uh, it would be dwarfed wouldn't it so all that said it is the military sidearm uh, has been for a, a long time now and looks like it's going to be for a while, at least the standard issue. So I know there are various units carrying other guns, but uh, that's the good old military Beretta 92 FS right now. And it's very reliable, very reliable. And it's, it's uh, kind of an interesting gun.
So let's just take a few shots with it. And uh, I'm kind of reacquainting myself with it, figuring out the sights. So I do have some alibis today since I haven't shot one of these since about 89, I guess, uh, except for a few shots uh, when I got home. So let's try a few more, see if we can figure out where, where it goes. When you send bullets down range, ah. Uh, let's start out again here close. And be like, <laughs> felt pretty good. Felt pretty good. Uh, let's see if we can machine gun a little bit here. me got to try it at long range got to go to long range Let me start way out there I think I figured out where to hold. Let's try a couple others. See if we can get a pig. Oh, we can fall. Get some more bullets there. Uh. to fall when I hit them. Let's go plates. Not bad, not bad. Uh, let's load up another mag here too. So that feels pretty good. I, I can tell I'm going to have to get used to the, uh, uh, oh, it's not the trigger that, uh, that it's that bad. Uh, it's got a pretty good release on it. It feels just like the other one I had, which was, I guess, 20 years ago. But it's, uh, I think it's the fact that it doesn't break until you get it all the way back uh, to the frame. And uh, with my long fingers, I recall that uh, that was an issue uh, I wasn't particularly fond of, but uh, I think in the last 20 years I've gotten better at uh, manipulating different kinds of guns and being able to handle uh, strange triggers and, and all that. Uh, one of the things that led me away at the time I was competing with Glocks at the t uh, a great deal, and uh, the Glock has that consistent trigger every time you pull it, no double to single or anything, and so I just was pretty much... Uh, all Glock. I didn't want to fool with anything that might take away from uh, you know my muscle memory on that. That was part of it, and uh, I didn't see the 92F as being a really good competition choice. So let's fire two more magazines. So we can do here. All right. All right. Let's settle down here. Get a hold of it.
that's enough, I guess. Uh, kind of nice. Uh, shoots okay. I think if I practice a little bit with it, I'll be able to shoot it uh, about as well as a Glock. I think I always have to fight the trigger a little bit. But, uh, you know, good old Beretta 92FS. Uh, a lot of our uh, uh, service uh, men and women are carrying these things around Iraq, Afghanistan, everywhere. So it's kind of neat to have one again. So I thought my, you might want to just take a look at it and uh, see a few rounds thrown down range. I know a lot of you have them. So uh, we'll talk to you later. Life is good.